Yeah. Does anybody else have an intellectual question before I ask them? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Middle school teachers. My people want to know about the black stone, right? At the very beginning, mm -hmm. you said something about the black stone, the common. Okay. I've got various different, depending on which source you read, you know, mm -hmm. sent down by God to Abraham and from mm -hmm. heaven. What's the real deal? You said they don't worship it, but basically, tell it, them it's not worship. Its effective function is to serve as a marker to show people where they start the Torah, otherwise. Um, symbolically, it's God's right hand on earth. And one of the things the pilgrim can do, optionally, is to kiss it, which is an emblem of kissing the hand of God, i.e. reaffirming the Abrahamic covenant, which is the function of the pilgrimage. The function of the pilgrimage is to show that you're part of um, the Abrahamic covenant and dimension of the religion. So the pilgrims ideally can kiss the stone, although generally people nowadays don't, because if you've got two million people in front of you who also want to kiss the black stone. Right. You have to be a kind of all-in wrestler before you get within 20 feet of it. And so symbolically, it is a, a physical manifestation of something that Allah sent to Earth. It's, it's a symbol, yes, but it's not okay. regarded as something that's intrinsically holy or a relic or anything like that. It's, it's not worshipped or regarded in that way.